The difference in differences idea is the main way we'll use panel data to learn about causality. And this idea relied on the common trends assumption that said that anything that's changing over time can't systematically differ between the treatment group and the control group. So that means if we look at changes in an unobserved confounding variable that might affect outcomes, then those changes can't systematically differ between the treatment and control. So we're making a very subtle distinction here between the changes in a variable and the levels of a variable. So the level of a variable is just its value at a particular point in time, whereas the changes is the difference in the level of a variable between two different points in time. So let's think about the death penalty example. Suppose we just did a contemporaneous comparison where we compared the average homicide rate for states that had the death penalty in 1977, that's our treatment group, with the average homicide rate for states that didn't have the death penalty in 1977. Say we did that comparison. Well, that's exactly what we do in a classical randomized experiment. But there, we said that we need there not to be any systematic difference between the two groups, okay, in any of these unobserved variables. So the level of gun ownership, for example, has to be the same in the treatment group and in the control group. So the average number of guns in the states with the death penalty has to be the same as the average number of guns in the states without the death penalty. Because the whole idea behind an experiment is that any difference in outcomes has to be solely attributed to the treatment, which means that there can't be another variable that's changing systematically across groups. Okay, that was randomized experiments. But here with panel data, we can relax that assumption. We actually don't need the average amount of guns to be the same in the treatment group, the states with the death penalty, as in the control group, the states without the death penalty. We can have the states in the treatment group having a lot of guns and the states in the control group having not very many guns. What we need is that the rate at which gun ownership is increasing is the same in both groups or perhaps gun ownership is decreasing over time, then we would need that to be the same rate in both groups. We cannot have one, the treatment group, having a very fast rate of increase in gun ownership, whereas the control group is having just a slow rate of increase. That violates the common trends assumption because the trends in gun ownership are different across groups. That is, the changes in the levels of gun ownership are different across groups. That is not valid. That violates the common trends assumption and means we can't look at the differences and differences estimate to learn about causality. So that's what the common trends assumption says. The levels do not need to be the same across groups as they do in randomized experiments, but they, they can be different as long as the rate of change is the same across groups.